The Premier League has announced a shortlist of 15 former players who are eligible to join its Hall of Fame in 2023. First up, congratulations to two inductees this week, which were Smiley. these two here. Yes, very Smiley happy Fergie. and very well deserved as well. Two former managers, of course, Sir Alex Ferguson and Arsene Wenger. So they this week were inducted into the Premier League Hall of Fame alongside the previous 16 inductees. So if you missed this last season, here's a reminder who, of who is already in there. Uh, Rooney, Aguero, Company Scott. Goals, Shearer, Henri Cantona, Keane, Vieira, Drogba, Schmeichel, Ian Wright, Lampard, Dennis Bergkamp, Steven Gerrard and David Beckham. So those are the names that are already inducted. Uh, some huge names, as we'd expect in that list, Joe. Yeah, some absolutely monster names <laughs> included over the last two years. And there are more candidates for you guys at home to vote on this year. We can see the 15 candidates put forward by the Premier League for you to vote on. Obviously, some huge names in there. Tony Adams is on there. Sol Campbell. I won't read them all out. I'll let you digest them at home. Rio Ferdinand, Michael Owen, John Terry. The list goes on. And yeah, you guys at home can indeed vote on who you want to be included. Here's the website, premierleague.com forward slash Hall of Fame. Now, voting is open until 6 p.m. on Monday, the 10th of April. So get your votes in. Yeah, OK, so we have tasked our guests with picking who they would pick as their three. Yes. Uh, so not easy, some big names there. Robbie, who are you going for? Right, I'm going for Tony Adams. OK. Sol Campbell and Andy Cole. Andy Cole as okay. well. Interesting, uh, a lot of Arsenal names in yeah. there. <laughs> Arsenal, because of Arsenal. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, sure. are, are there Arsenal names in there? I, think, I, think <laughs> I didn't realise that, you know. <laughs> did you look at the other names or did you just go straight for the Arsenal? I name? looked at all the names and there's some great names in there. Yeah. But those are my next three in. OK, Rory, we can have a look at to your candidates. I presume... These are all going to be Chelsea players. No, I've, I've genuinely done this. I've subtracted all bias. I have subtracted all... <laughs> <Don't players. do laughs> that. I've subtracted all bias. <laughs> the team, three Chelsea I've, players. I've gone for John Terry, Ashley Cole and Petr Cech. And that is because they are the correct next admissions. Like, that's who it should be. You look at the players, you look at what they achieved, you look at how good they were in their respective positions, and they are the three next inductees. That's how it should that's go. That's according to you. No, but look at the facts. Look at the facts. The goalkeeper with the most clean sheets in Premier League history is Petr Cech. Of course he goes in. The best left-back to have ever played the game mm. is Ashley Cole. Of course he goes in. The, the centre-half, who is the Premier League's most successful ever captain and the highest goal-scoring defender is obviously John Terry. Obviously, he what is a metric there. That's what, a, that's what you call a pick and choose your, yeah. your stat match. <laughs> but they, I would, I would agree with Ashley Cole, actually, right. because I say for all the other positions, I, I believe in Premier League history, you can debate the best centre-back, you can debate the best striker, you can debate the best goalkeeper. I don't think there is any debate about the best left-back in Premier League history. Yeah. And Ashley Cole, on all the metrics, uh, in terms of statistics, uh, what he's won, but also who else played in that position. There's been some great left-backs mm -hmm. over the year, but I don't think it can be argued that he is the best left-back in Premier League history. And I'd go history. one step further. I think, that, I think you've made point like perfectly uh, perfectly articulate no I agree <laughs> I think I agree I just go one step further I'd say the world I'd say the world ever he Ashley Cole is the oh. best left back to have ever played the game that's a fact <laughs> that's a fact Robbie wow. what's your thoughts <laughs> as usually he's going to have ever played the game Ashley Cole is the best left back to have ever played the game the only person that even comes close to make this a conversation is Paolo Maldini mm. so we can explore that if you want but Take Maldini out of it, it's 100% Cole. I mean, I was, I was very complimentary of Ashley Cole, but it's a yep. big shout to say, best player As ever. As usual, big shout um, by him, right? I'm saying you don't agree the, with the original, history. what I'd call the original centre-back, right? Tony Adams. Tony Adams. The boss. Mm. He's got a stature at Arsenal. Interesting you've all He's got centre-backs in there, because you've gone yeah, Sol yeah. Campbell and Tony Adams, and you've gone John Terry. So He's you all... gone Sol Campbell and Tony Adams, because they're the two Arsenal players there, though. It's not about centre-half. No, 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 no. But let's be, to be real, ne neither of them were as good as Rio Ferdinand. Oh, John Hold on, if you, even if you look at some of the previous nominees <laughs> that are in there, like Burkamp's in there, um, Ian Wright's in there, how can they be in there and Tony Adams is not in there? Tony Adams also has to be in there. At that time, he was the best centre-back around. Right, it is his time to go into there. And then you it's look... not his time. He will you, go in there, but it's not his time. Right, you his look time at, is it's John Terry. You look at Saul Campbell, you know... Um, Who was the best centre-back? Alan Terry. Terry or Tony Adams? John Terry by a mile. Huh? John Terry by a Tony Adams. Mile. Tony Adams. John Terry by a Tony Adams. John Terry was Tony a better centre half than Adams and Campbell combined. It's the best centre back John at Chelsea. John Terry was. I'm talking John about Terry Tony was Adams. Th then what combined? John Terry was far better than either of them oh, combined. Yeah. He was. Out he was. Man. John Terry was sensational. John Terry. Captained. John Terry was good. John Terry. Don't get me wrong. He was good. A controversial character, but he was good. John Terry but has. But Tony Adams Chelsea. goes into it. Captain Chelsea to five Premier League titles. He is the only player to have ever captained a club to five Premier League titles. Bearing in mind, by the way. 
One of them was done 10 years after the first one. So a decade later, he captain Chelsea to Chelsea's first title in 2005 for 50 years. A decade later, he then captains Chelsea again to another title. Bearing in mind, Aiden that is title, with a lot of he money. played every single Aiden with a lot of money to build an unbelievable single, squad. Yeah, exactly, right? that, makes Whereas, that makes it harder. That makes it harder. Makes it harder. It makes it harder to stay in the team. It John Terry stayed in the team right? when there was an influx Tony. of money. We could have bought anyone in the world. Chelsea could have bought anyone in the world, and we stayed with the youth product. Tony Adams, and, and then actually, let me just even take it off of Tony Adams. Sol Campbell. We moved to Sol Campbell, right? Son Campbell, part of the invincible team that never lost a game, never ever done, Especially never that, done. Since. I mean, I mean, the invincible thing's a never bit of a misnomer, done, isn't never it? To, it's a, it's a, it's a, a bit of a myth. That. I mean, nobody really cares. Oh, yeah, so also, see, they call all, it all, It's all right with all these records and stats. If you're invincible, that he quotes, if you're invincible, did you win the European Cup that year? Did you win the European Cup if you were so invincible? We're talking about the Premier League. You didn't. Hold on, one second. John Terry's Chelsea. Can I just say something, right? We're not talking about the Champions League. We're talking about the Premier League. No, but Hold on one second. The Premier League Hall of Fame, right? And in the Premier League, Sol Campbell went a whole season unbeaten. He went 49 games unbeaten. It got less points. Unbeaten. Got, so just, how just, can he on, not just, be in I'll there? I'll tell you how. No, I'll no tell you, 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 you can't tell you how. You keep going on about your stats. How can he not be easily, in there? Easily. Give me a reason. I'll tell you. I'll give you the reason. Like Luther Van Dross, right? You've got... <laughs> what you've got is you've got John Terry. You've got John, <laughs> you've got John Terry. Keep thinking. Who, who capped in Chelsea to five titles, which hasn't been done. He's rattled, the man. Arsenal. No, no. The Arsenal Invincibles, John Terry's Chelsea accrued more points. Chelsea, Chelsea lost one game. Chelsea in one season, conceded 15 goals, which is the lowest tally ever conceded. Sol Campbell so, so in a defence... So no, all right, all right in, come no, back to in, me now. No, in, Sol Campbell <laughs> in a defence went 49 <laughs> games <laughs> unbeaten. 49 games unbeaten, and they won the league unbeaten. But, but you How can, can he not be in that? Because it's not that he's not in it, he's just not in it over Terry. He's not a better player than Terry. Sol, well, Campbell, will ultimately, Sol Campbell will ultimately go in. But no, he he's will in. Not go in ahead, he he's will in. not go in ahead of Terry. John, John Terry will John, ultimately John go Terry, in. John Terry is the most successful captain that the Premier League has ever seen. He is the captain of the team that has conceded the least amount of goals that has ever happened in the Premier League. He is the highest goal-scoring defender to have ever played the game in the Premier League. He is also, obviously, the best ever centre-half to have played in the Premier League. It's obviously I John it's Terry. Not, I, think, I think Rio Ferdinand yeah, I also say, deserves a shout here. We're Neither talking about a lot of centre-backs. And actually, Rio Ferdinand's won more Premier League titles than all of these centre-backs. Rio, Rio so Ferdinand deserves a shout in there. He's not in either of your lists. I'm Rio Ferdinand would be Rio's next on my list. list. Rio Ferdinand would Ferdinand Ferdinand probably be next on my list as well. He, he was okay. A, Top quality player. Again, these, these are the nominees. So, Sol neither of you going in. with Rio, who I've seen in a lot of people's um Yeah, nominees. I think there's a couple of other names I want to point out. I think Yaya deserves... Yeah. Yep, Yaya's in there. He's up in there. and amongst contention. And a name that's on your list we haven't spoken about yet, Andrew Cole. Yeah, yeah very underrated. Mm. I was going to say, I think he is underrated, yeah. Very underrated. Remember, he used to bang the goals in for fun at Newcastle. Mm. Yeah. Even before he came to Manchester United. And then came to Manchester United, was banging goals in week in, week out. Treble Part winner. of their treble yeah. winning team, you know what I mean? He's, he's didn't got to be in there. Either, so, you know, yeah, yeah, goal he's got to be in there, you know what I mean? Uh, just, just because maybe he didn't have the sort of flamboyant character of some of the other players, why he doesn't get the mention sometimes, but he definitely deserves to be in there as well. Andy and, Cole's a great shout. I think yeah. Andy Cole certainly. Like when you look at the other people on that list. Are there any I mean, names Andy you think Cole, are lucky to be on that list? Yes, definitely. I mean, I don't know what Les Ferdinand or Jermaine Defoe are doing on that list, to be totally frank with you. Like, I have absolutely no idea. Unless, uh, come, on, from, come on, come on, come on. Jermaine Defoe. Like, let's, I mean, let's think about some of the elite players that have played in the Premier Jermaine League. Jermaine Defoe's a good goal scorer. Yeah, the, yeah, of course, Smithy. Good goal scorer. Of course. Yes. That's not that's not Hall of Fame worthy. Peter, Peter Crouch is a good goal scorer. Do you want to whack him on there? <laughs> God, he's very angry <laughs> stadium, <are> <laughs> very angry. No, I don't think... Basically, apart from the odd anomaly, so Steven Gerrard is a great example of this, Harry Kane, if he goes on to become the Premier League's all-time goal scorer. Yeah. But basically, as a rule of thumb, if you haven't won it, you're not on the list. Really? So, so Steven Gerrard, for you, no, shouldn't he, be on Steven there. Steven Gerrard would be in one of the no, greatest Gerard's midfielders Gerard's of all exactly, time, exactly. but he's never won the Premier League. No, no, that's exactly what I just said. Yeah. There's the odd... There's the odd a uh, person that will play by their own rules because they're so brilliant. And Steven yeah. Gerrard's an example of that. Harry Kane might be. But Les Ferdinand, we'll Jermaine Defoe, excellent players. Excellent players. But no, I don't think I they think belong. I, think I, I can't believe I agree with you, but I kind of agree with him on that as well. Um, great Premier League players. Hall of Famers. Mm. Not sure. Not sure. Not, Not sure. sure. But some great names put forward by you two. Yeah. And you guys at home can vote as well. Yeah. Christmas. They can, yeah. Voting is still open until Monday, 10th of April, until 6pm. So if you don't like what you've just heard from these two, then get voting right now.